I'm Megan. I'm going to show you how to set up Camp Twist on your Mac computer and how to use it with Google Slides. First thing you'll need to do is download Camp Twist. You can do this by going to Camp Twist's website and selecting download. And the first time that you uh, download Camp Twist, you're going to probably have to allow it in your security and privacy settings under your system preferences. You'll just click the lock and select allow. Okay. So that's for the first time when you download it. You do not have to do that every time. Um, then what you'll do next is set up your preferences in Cam Twist itself. So your your Cam Twist preferences are going to be under um, Cam Twist menu right here, and you would select Cam Twist preferences. Make sure that the frame rate says 30 FPS. Make sure that this button is checked. Keep cameras warm because otherwise they're going to have some problems in the classroom. Your video size should be the same video size as it is in the portal. Make sure that this says 640 by 480. And then you must restart Cam Twist and your video stream for it to take effect. So just letting you know, you need to, once you set these settings, quit Cam Twist and reopen it. Make sure that disable the QuickTime component right here is not checked, okay? Once again, do not have this box checked. Next step you will want to take is to open up the studio menu. So select view and select studio. And when you do that, you will see two boxes. These two boxes are different. The green box over here is a, just a preview. So it's not live in the, in the classroom. And then whatever, what's over here, the program, this is what is live in the classroom. The first thing you'll wanna do is create a button for your webcam. So click new button. All right, right click your new button that is untitled. We're going to edit it. So I'm going to title this one webcam. I'm just typing in a name and I'm hitting enter. And my first thing I will want to add is my webcam, right? Now you'll click the plus button. This plus button will bring up a list of effects or video sources that you can add to your button. So I will want to select webcam. Add means it will take up the whole screen. Pip means it'll take up just a part of your picture. So picture in picture. And when you click add, it's going to sh make your webcam show up underneath your, your button menu right here. Now that we've added our webcam, we actually have to kind of activate the button. It's still in a, in a preview mode, right? So we're going to go, come over here and we're going to select cut. Hello again. So cut and dissolve and effect these little buttons over here, these buttons will switch whatever is in your preview will will become live in the VIP kit classroom. I'm going to actually close out that button menu, that edit button, and I also closed out the effects list. Every time you edit a button, always close out those lists before you move on to the next thing. Okay, so my next step that I like to do is I right click the button that I just made and I like to snapshot it because it shows you a little icon of what the feed looks like. So cheese. <laughs> so I've got a little button cover, if you will. But we want to use Cam Twist for Google Slides or for using digital effects in the classroom. So my next step will be to create another button. So let's make a button that shows these cute dinos over here and my and me. So I'm going to right click my untitled button. I just clicked new button and and now I'm right clicking. We're doing the same process over again. So this time I'm going to title it, I'm going to title it Big Google Slides. I'm going to enter. So let's click that plus button again and it'll bring up the, that effects list. Now you're going to select instead of, instead of selecting webcam as, as the ad, you're going to select desktop plus as the ad. When I select desktop plus, you're going to see this inception stuff start going on. Notice that in my preview, 
I see all of my desktop and I don't want my student to see that. No. So we're going to uncheck full screen and make sure this confined to application window is not checked. Make sure only resizable selection is checked. And then select capture area. Click that. Once you click this button, you'll see this little box pop up. And notice my, take note of my preview box over here. See how it's like picking up whatever I'm dragging over. So I'm just clicking and dragging. So I'm gonna drag this little outline over here. And this is where it gets a little, a little tricky. All right, so I'm clicking and dragging. I'm gonna make this really narrow. And what I actually wanna do is take this and drag it up because I just want the bottom here. Okay, now remember my video size or whatever is uh, 640 by 480. So I have these weird black bars right here. The way that you fix that is just by adjusting your capture area. So I'm gonna actually take this and pull it down. Notice how it's making my, screen, my, my Google slide bigger on my video, which is what we want, right? So I've added my big Google slide and I can see that in my window. Now here's the thing. I want my face to be showing at the same time. I always want my face to be visible in the classroom. So I'm going to go back over to my, my button, uh, edit button menu, and I'm going to add another thing. Okay. Um, I think you can just click plus and it'll bring back up the, the effects menu if you lost it. I often do. All right. So now I want to add like a small webcam. So I'm gonna click on webcam, but instead of hitting add, I'm gonna hit pip, which means picture in picture. So when I do this, it's going to make a small me. So only thing is, is that I'm covering up dino. So that can't, that can't be good. So follow my steps. Click on pip webcam. Check clear background. Scale is what what size do you want it? How big? So if I go down, it makes me smaller. If I go up, it makes me bigger. So that's what scale is. So I'm going to make myself a little smaller here. And then position is how you'll move it around the screen. So I'm going to click on the black dot and I'm just clicking and dragging. And if you want, you can always play around with this during class. If you want to make yourself move around on the screen, you can do that. Okay, so I've got myself up here. I'm going to put myself right in the middle. middle. And it looks like I'm still covering up Dino a little bit, so I can make myself smaller if I want to. Um, but what you can also do is kind of crop your, your actual video feed. So I often do this. I'll just crop the bottom half of myself off there. Okay, so I've got my big Google slide screen that I want to use in class. So I'm good to go. Okay, you've made your buttons, and now it's time to learn how to use them in the classroom. So if you do not see anything on your preview or program screen when you open CanTwist, this just means that you need to tap one of your buttons. So I'm going to click webcam. Okay, because that's what I like to start with in class. So I have my webcam previewed. This means that it's not live on my program or my, my video feed. So the red box will always show you what is live in the classroom or wherever you're streaming to. And the green box shows you what's next. Okay, I am going to simply come over here and click cut. All right, this means it's gonna take my preview and it's gonna make it live. So if I want to preview up something next, I can just hit another button and notice that it did not take away what, what is live over here in my red box. So when I'm ready, I can just hit cut and it will swap the two. Now this is because I have swap mode checked. I don't know if you can see right here, swap mode. So if you do not have swap mode checked, I recommend it. If I don't have swap mode checked and I just click a button, it's going to show up in my preview just like normal. I'm gonna hit cut, but it takes away my webcam. So then I don't have anything I have to click twice. See what I'm saying? So. Always, I just recommend having that swap mode checked. I can always keep something in my preview, okay? Dissolve makes a cool little dissolving effect. Um, 
Effect is something that you can change. This little drop down menu right here underneath effect, I can swipe. I think I like this one. Yeah, swipe. I think cut is the most efficient and lightweight on your computer. Now let's check out how to set up your cam twist in the VIP kit portal. Golden rule number one, always have cam twist open first. Okay, so let's open the VIP kit teach app. I'm going to click settings um, in the VIP kit app and I'm gonna click camera. You're gonna click the drop down and select cam twist. It does not matter, two will show up, but just click cam twist. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter which one. And then you're gonna click confirm. Okay, so once you click confirm, you will be able to turn on your camera and what you can what you can do is just kind of test things out, all right? So you can click over here and remember you can click cut and see, now my student can see my Google slide, cut, dissolve, effect. My cam twist studio window is overlapping the portal and I don't really want that. Um, so you can size your cam twist studio down really, really tiny. So you can then make it to where it's very tiny. My webcam is right here in the middle of my my monitor. So I don't want it to look like I'm always looking away from the monitor. So I like to keep my webcam where I'm going to be normally looking. So all of my things that I'm using, I like to keep those close by my webcam too. All right, so that's how to use Cam Twist with Google Slides. And stay tuned for the next video on how to set up your hotkeys, okay? So if you would like to set up keyboard shortcuts for instead of having to find this button and click cut every time, just stay tuned, watch the next video.